If I asked you to describe what consciousness was, what would you say? Would you say it was self-awareness, being awake, having inner thoughts and experiences? Philosophers have been arguing about this throughout all of history and still haven't reached an agreement. But in this video, I'm going to use a physicist's definition. Professor Max Tegmark from MIT defines consciousness as simply subjective experience. Basically, if it feels like something to be you, then you're conscious. To put it another way, look at this picture. This is an ambiguous optical illusion called my wife and my mother-in-law. It can be seen as two different figures depending on how you look at it. Pause the video now to try it for yourself. What's interesting is that even though we know both figures are there, we can only see one at a time. Looking at the cheek and nose brings the young girl into focus, but if we see her ear as an eye, the old woman appears. Same image, two different experiences. Would a machine ever be able to do what you just did? Will it ever feel like something to be a self-driving car? If uploading our minds becomes possible one day, if the machine that houses your mind isn't conscious, would you be? The answer to these questions will affect whether future AI should have rights or be able to vote. But before we start trying to answer these hard questions, let's start with an easier one. Why are some blobs of stuff considered conscious and some not? What makes you different from this laptop? You're both made of matter, but you have a brain. So consciousness must reside somewhere in the brain. But then what about when you're in a deep sleep? Your brain is still there, but your consciousness is not. So what makes this different from that? Well, one theory is that consciousness is in the pattern or arrangement of matter. For example, some arrangements of neurons are conscious and some aren't. But you wouldn't say a single neuron was conscious. So how could millions of them be? Well, Think of wetness. Liquid water is wet, but it doesn't make sense to say that just one water molecule is wet. It's only a property that emerges when you have millions of them grouped together. And not just any arrangement either. Snow and ice are made of the exact same molecules, but only the liquid form is wet. This is an example of a phenomenon called emergence, when the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Tegmark proposes that consciousness is an emergent property of the billions of neurons in our brains. And just like only some arrangements of water molecules are wet, only some arrangements of neurons are conscious. So if consciousness is just patterns of neurons and neurons are made out of particles like electrons and quarks, there's nothing in the laws of physics that says we can't replicate these same patterns. In other words, if we can figure out how consciousness works in humans, we could theoretically replicate it in machines. So what might AI consciousness feel like? Obviously, this is highly speculative and there are no definitive answers. But AI researchers have put forward some interesting ideas. Because of the speed limit of our neurons relative to the size of our brains, humans can have a maximum of about 10 conscious thoughts per second. But if an AI had a human-sized brain, because electromagnetic signals travel at the speed of light, about a million times faster than neurons, they'd be capable of having millions more conscious thoughts per second than us. Also, although AI will most likely strive for self-preservation to achieve their goals, they won't necessarily fear death the same way we humans do. Because information can be backed up and easily shared among other AI, all they would lose if they were destroyed was their physical body. All of their experiences and memories would be safely stored in the cloud. This would probably mean that they wouldn't have a strong sense of self or identity like we humans do. If you and me could swap experiences and knowledge that efficiently, we probably wouldn't feel much of a distinction between you and 
me anymore. So a group of AIs would likely feel more like a single organism with a hive mind rather than a group of individuals. Everything mentioned in this video was theory and hasn't been proven, but breakthroughs in AI are forcing a deadline on age-old questions like what is consciousness? 200 years ago, we didn't know what colors were. We thought they were just intrinsic properties of the world. Now we know that they're the reflection of different wavelengths and can even make our own colors by mixing these wavelengths together. Maybe the next 200 years we'll be able to shed light on the mystery of consciousness and we'll too be able to create it on our own. Only time will tell.